Round one. Round one of this C-class Muay Thai rules fight. 70 kilograms. Thomas Slavink, Skas, and Milo Bielecki. Muay Thai Academy, Dudley. Do you like the way I left you to pronounce those two surnames, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Strong start. Start. Strong start from both lads. Strong hands. Jump. Red corner screaming. Strong hands. Strong hands. Set it up first. Yes. Good kick there. Balance. Down with elbow on the leg there. If you saw that. Yes. Referee just telling them off there. For take, needs to take two steps forward. Just feeling out with each other for now. Left. Testing the waters. Yes, Skimming on the head kick. Left. Good right straight hand. Right Just right. narrowly nice missing on the uppercut. Lean back. Nice. Left. Left. Straight hand moves his man backwards. Good heavy hands. Thomas with very heavy, heavy hands. It's an interesting good round. first round, yeah. Very good round. Both lads having that kind of, it must be, it must be diamond fight, you know. They're, every fight has just had spite. Uh, there's been venom behind all of the strikes. I said this last time I came down here, I don't think there was a fight where <coughs> people weren't going for it, you know? I yeah. Mean, there was a you, you go to some shows sometimes and the fighters are almost playing the points game, they're playing yeah. the want, wanting to win on points game, whereas here, yeah, they're getting the scoring done, but there's just, there's strike, like, the venom behind the strikes is there. It's just, there's so much nastiness involved with it. Brilliant. <laughs> That's what we watch This is brilliant, but it's, it's what stuff like that, I know, I know we're in Banbury, I know we're not on one championship right now, but Diamond Fight is making its way up there. And so is Muay Thai. Mm. You've got more people fighting like this, and this is what the crowd wants to see. Exactly. The crowd don't want to see points. Unfortunately, unless you're a pure Muay Thai fan, you don't want to see. They don't want to see technical point fights. They want to see people getting flattened. It's a strong start again from Thomas. The hands for me. There's a lot of power behind them. Corner team of Milo saying forward, forward, forward. I say them. That boxing strong. From Thomas, but Milo's just walking through, isn't he? Dinting phase. Milo attempting the sweep but failing. Good balance there from Tom. Thomas. Boxing landing. For me, Milo's Milo's trying to score, but. Uh, the boxing of Thomas just seems horrible. How, how would you deal with someone that's a heavy boxer? Someone who's coming in strong like that, I tend to try and cover the boxing and go for a nice strong knee straight at the middle. I agree with you. I agree with you. Or step off the straight line, you know, come off that centre line and work the angles. Thomas, Thomas at the moment for me is just mauling Milo. He's not giving him any space, he's not giving him that time to score. It's just making it almost uh, an ugly fight, as in just trying to get him out of there. Because there is so much aggression. <laughs> Narrowly missing on that head kick. <laughs> it's a nice body kick, then you got a head kick back for it. I felt the wind on that one. <laughs> I think Milo did. So, for those of you joining us at home on Leapfrog Fight TV, my name is Joe Turner here with Andy Fresher. We're at Diamond Fighter 6, sponsored by Fight Supplies, Stormtrooper Beer, Athlon Rub, Muay Thai Hub. The list goes on. This show is going from strength to strength, and if I'm going to be brutally honest, I haven't had a boring fight this evening. I've been, yeah, I'll be honest here, every fight has been spot on. It has Considering been. that Rob's had people dropping out left, right and centre, what a show he's brought together. When a, when a promoter has dealt with so many cards, such as 
pullouts. People pulling out over, from what I've heard, very silly excuses. Seconds and I mean, it's not just Rob, three. the promoter of this show. It's, I think a lot of promoters are dealing with the same problems at the moment with fighters pulling out. I don't envy the promoters at the moment. All credit to them. He's pulled it together, though. Yeah. What a card. He's got 20 action-packed bouts. Narrowly missing with them head kicks. Both these lads have almost had points, but they've head kicked each other. Thomas coming forward onto Milo. Clean Ooh, punch landed. lands there. Milo not returning. Ooh. Goes down. He's just, he's just a force, isn't he? Struggling to get I to his feet there. Over there yeah. That kick in the face in the end. He's just too strong. Yeah. Too strong. Just way too strong for him. 70 kilos, that is a 70 kilo monster. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. Good aggressive attack there. Very aggressive. Hope Milo's okay. Wish him the speediest recovery. We now go to our official MC, Mr. Carl Greaves. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was brought to a close in 31 seconds of the third round by way of TKO. Delivered in style by your winner. In the blue corner, Tomo Slavinskas. And let's raise the roof for our runner up, Milo Bilaki. Handing over now to Joe Turner of Leapfrog Fight TV. Thomas, I need you over here, my man. First of all, I've got to say, that was a show-stopping TKO. From the moment you got in there to the moment where the fight finished, you were coming in for the kill. What's that part of the game plan? Because usually, something that's pulling me back. And now this time, I was like, no, I got it. My coach told me I got it. I'm a fucking machine. I go and you won't stop me. I hope. Thank you. Mate, I love your mindset. I love your fighting style. I love the aggression you brought to the ring tonight. What I want to ask you is, what's the goal? What's next for you? Where are you going? We got some more few fights. We're getting a bell. If we train hard and we go as a machine, we will get one. And then, I don't know, I need to ask my wife. Okay. <laughs> Just before I leave you this evening, is there anything you want to say to the fans watching you after that astonishing TKO victory? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank you for supporting me for my family. Big thank you for my wife, and as well, sorry about it to take everything you know out of you. I'm always in the gym, and she understands what I mean. And biggest support, of course, from our sponsors, which is Double D. Vehicle wrapping and tinting, Muslim bound, which is based in Scotland, and work stuff you like. Thank you very much for everyone, and obviously my coaches, and uh, another one which just couldn't come. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner.